Hey Virgo, this is going to be a general love rating for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs or get a personal reading for more specific information. All that information is in the description box. Also, please keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see what's going on with Virgo in May 2021. All right, we have signs and we have healing. All right, so you might be getting a lot of signs this month, um, so do keep your eyes open for them. Um, <clears throat> I feel like these signs may also help you to heal or there's just a lot of healing that you are going through in this month. And I feel like at the same time, you know, like the more you heal, the more your vibration raises and the more, the higher your vibration is, the more that you will be um, receptive to receiving messages, signs, you'll just be more open to that from the universe. All right, so let's get into this and see what is going on here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of May. Twenty twenty one. Alright, so let's see. For the situation, you have the Knight of Swords crossed by the Nine of Swords. Ooh. Alright, well that's a lot of air energy um, for Virgo. Um Maybe you're dealing with an air sign, or maybe you have strong air in your chart, or maybe this is just your energy at the moment. I feel like there's there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of possibly overthinking that may be keeping you or, or your person um, from taking some action when it comes to speaking their truth, when it comes to living their truth, or just anything of that of that sort. A lot of overthinking here. Let's see, recent past we have the sun, and in the near future we have the five of wands. All right, so there was a point in time here in the past where <clears throat> there was some happiness, there was something that was very beautiful in this connection between the two of you. Um, I feel like this connection felt like it would be very fulfilling. Um, but I do also see some some challenges um, in the near future here, possibly just maybe some disagreements between the two of you or involving other people. It could be outside interference as well. Let's see what we have for you. We have the Knight of Wands. For them, we have the King of Pentacles. More about you is the Empress. For them, the Five of Cups. Potential outcome is the Seven of Cups. And a message for you here is the Nine of Wands. All right, so um, I don't know. I feel like you're taking some action here. I feel like you are passionately trying to move in a new direction, possibly um, either maybe even away from this connection or maybe even you're trying to physically distance yourself from things that remind you of this situation or from this situation or from this person. Um, I see some movement from your end here, and I feel like if that's the case, this because you also have the Empress, this is very much in alignment with your higher self. And again, it could be because you are healing and you might be getting some signs to do that, and I feel like, you know, if that is the case, yes, this is like encouragement for you to go ahead and move in, in that direction, all right? But always follow your intuition, regardless of what any reading says. Um, yeah, I see you pretty much moving towards your um, own self-fulfillment and your own self-realization, self-actualization, just really stepping into that Empress energy for your own self. Um, for them, we have the King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Uh, it's interesting because... It could be that this person is already in a commitment with the King of Pentacles. Um, 
and it could be something that is making them very, very um, upset, very sad. I feel like they, what you're doing here, if you are moving away from this, this person is missing you, all right, coming up in this month. Missing you a lot, feeling a lot of regret, possibly feeling guilt for how they have um, reacted to things or affected things, maybe. We'll see when we clarify. Potential outcome, we have the... The Seven of Cups, so I feel like that's options, actually. I feel like that's options, and I do feel like with the message of being the Nine of Wands, you know, you're, this is Spirit encouraging you to just not give up on something, all right? It could be on the connection, it could be on yourself, um, on this path that you are on, whatever, whatever that is, all right? Um, yeah, you know, this is, I feel like whatever it is that's going on here, it is pretty difficult, but you you got what, what it takes, all right? And let's see. Because I do feel like this person also wants commitment. So let's clarify. Let's see the Knight of Swords with the Nine of, Nine of Swords. All right, we have the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands showing up again, and the Six of Wands. All right, so yeah, see, there's definitely a lot of love here. I feel like whatever this was in the past, you know, that was beautiful between the two of you, it was really based on truth. It was based on something, all right? Because we have the Ace of Cups now. So there is a lot of love, and it's still there. Um, this is a very, very difficult time, at least for one of you. But I feel like whoever this is, um, that is stuck in their mind and just in a lot of fear and a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety, I feel like this person is actually all over the place, possibly even changing their mind, just not very stable, not very consistent. And a lot of that has to do with ego. I feel like there's a lot of ego involved here, which could be um, one of the barriers for this person, all right? Could be you, could be them. You. you just take the messages as they make sense for your particular situation. Um, but I feel like it's this ego that is keeping them from being able to fully um, embody this love that they feel. There's like just too many thoughts, too much analyzing it, too much worry about what other people might think. Because um, like I said before, I feel like there is some external interference here. And so I do feel like there's a lot of you know, um, a lot of, what are other people going to think, basically? If I do this or if I do that and, you know, um, just really overanalyzing that. Let's um, see your energy. Let's see the Knight of Wands. All right, we have the Three of Wands, the Hanged Man. Ooh. And the Nine of Swords. All right. So you're in this energy of the Nine of Swords as well. Um, it could be, even here, it could just be you, and it could be that you are in this energy, you're feeling really stressed because the other person is making things so much more difficult than they need to be, and because there's so much ego involved, even though you know that there's love, all right? Um, but I still do believe that the other person is also feeling that stress, and I feel like, you know, this is obviously, it's in your energy as well. I feel like you are actually very stressed, um, You've had a lot of anxiety because you've waited for what feels like forever, all right? Having both the Three of Wands and the Hanged Man, that's like just sitting there. That's a situation just, you just keep waiting for it to happen. You keep thinking that something's happening and that something's about to happen and then it just doesn't. It just feels like it stays the same. Um, and I can see why that would have caused you a lot of, a lot of stress in this connection. Um, but again, I feel like you're you're moving away from that. Let's see the Empress. It's like you're just like no more waiting. Oh, and look at that. We have Temperance again. I mean, wow. And the Five of Pentacles. 
Yeah, I feel like, you know, you're you're putting your foot down. You're just kind of like, you know what? I've waited and waited and waited. I've been so damn patient um, for something here. And I just, I never get it. I either keep getting rejected or I just never end up being on the winning side of things. Um, it's like you've always felt like you just ended up being alone or being disappointed right when you thought that something was going to happen and like I said you're moving away from that you're finding your own self-worth now and being like you know what I'm out of here I'm taking action so good for you Virgo let's see what's going on with them because I do see a commitment here from in their energy so and also grief so let's Try to figure this out. Let's see. King of Pentacles. All right, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Let me just get one more because this is feels a little complicated. Strength. All right, so we do have two. Um, cards signifying a Leo. Um, yeah, I think it's it's mostly Leo that is standing out to me. Let me know in the comments, but it um, could definitely be any sign. All right, so this person here, wow. Um, they, they want this commitment. That's the thing. They want a commitment. They want stability. They want things to be right. They want things to work out in a practical manner and to be, you know, functional um, in the 3D in the physical, just all around, all right? They want that with you. Um, they, I see them wanting a reconnection with that Ace of Wands. I see this person having a lot of desire for you, possibly even a lot of um, sexual urges in relation to you. And I do feel like they want things to shift. They know that things would need to shift here in order for that to happen. And I feel like that that shift is going to be something really, really big and really, really powerful, all right, in order for that to happen, whatever that is. Um, and it's going to be different for, for each of them. Um, let me see the five of cups. I feel like this person really feels like this is a very, very strong connection that they share with you. They know this. But for whatever reason, right, it stresses them out. It stresses them out. They see it as this huge, huge challenge. All right, so clarifying the five of cups for them, we have the devil and we have the empress. So they're getting a lot of major arcana actually in their energy here. Um, <clears throat> this is a lot of major things here. So first of all, they, they're they picking up on that energy that you are in, all right? The Empress. This is how they're viewing you. They have you high up on a pedestal. I feel like they're gaining more respect for you. Um, as you enter your Empress energy and the more you embody that, the more that they're seeing you in that regard. Even if they're, even if they don't have contact with you, all right? This is, this can work on a very energetic basis. But it's also freaking them out, all right? It's getting them um, <clears throat> to just have a lot of fear as to whether or not they will, they will ever be able to get you back, all right? Because with that, that's, so that's what that Five of Cups is about, feeling like they regret certain things from the past that have led up to the present and up to what is coming up and what is going on now. There's a lot of fear. And it could even be, um, for some of them, as I said, with that devil, that they are um, involved in another um, commitment here, all right? Also having the King of Pentacles here, um, which there might be a lot of codependency. <clears throat> or maybe they, they're just dependent on a substance or on work or whatever. It could definitely be um, an obsession with work that has led up to this, all right, for some of you. There's a lot of regret and there's guilt concerning that because they're seeing you moving on now. So let's see. Let's see what <clears throat> this Five of Wands is, which is coming up in the near future. The 
Ten of Swords. Ooh. All right, yeah, so I feel like whatever, because I do feel like there's outside interference here, all right? there, And I do still feel like there is this essence of what are other people gonna think? What will this mean, you know, about my me being successful or, you know, whatever. I feel like that is somehow moving towards an ending here with the Ten of Swords. Um, I also get that for a lot of you, you know, this is actually, this might even happen between the two of you where there might be some um, contrast between the two of you in the connection, like some tension, and it might lead to a little bit of, you know, feeling like, all right, you know, well, this is done. I'm not sure if it is because with that Seven of Cups though and the potential outcome, I feel like that potential for this is still open. Um, let's see. Seven of Cups. Oh. Alright, Judgment and the Four of Wands. Yeah, so... There's, there's options here. Someone's going to have to make a decision. And I feel like it's actually the both of you. Someone has to make a decision about a commitment. All right, either, either about this commitment or about another commitment. Um, I'm not, I don't see, I mean, beings at the Seven of Cups is, is our main energy here. I feel like it's kind of like it could go either way. I don't see it resolving like within the next couple of weeks. Um, but I feel like there's definitely a lot of contemplation of the options for making a decision about, about a commitment here, all right? A lot of thinking. Um, and, you know, it still feels like um, the judgment is a little bit cloudy, but I do feel like it's a lot better than that Nine of Swords, all right? It's like, because when you're in the Nine of Swords energy, you cannot think at all about making a decision like anything you do or anything you think or any actions or decisions you make, they're going to be based off of that, that fear and that stress, and that's not going to lead to anything good. And so most of the time when we're in that energy, we really don't make any decisions. So at least there's some kind of an upgrade to thinking about the options. Still a little clouded, but at least without all of that, all of that stress, I feel like there is some truth that is beginning to um, seep through into the mind of whoever of whoever this is, and it could even be the both of you. All right, so let's see the Nine of Wands for your final message. <clears throat> Whew, we have lovers. I'm telling you, this is this is a powerful connection here. This is definitely um, like a soulmate, divine soulmate type of a relationship that you have with this person. Um, and that, that would explain why this path is so difficult. All right, but the message for you is here, you know, to be aware of that, you know, it's not meant to be easy. It's not meant to be easy, but you're also not meant to give up on the path, regardless of whether you end it with this person, that's your free will and that's, that's completely okay and it might even be in your highest good. But it's always beneficial for you to at least understand the nature of the connection so that you can understand the difficulties and the challenges that come with it. All right, so Virgo, <clears throat> if this resonated, let's get a final oracle message for you. And please give me a thumbs up if it did. And let's see. but I'm going to take the one that just stood out to me and it, oh my gosh, okay, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And that, that's so funny. That's exactly what I was just saying. So yeah, if you needed confirmation and this reading resonated for you, well, there you go. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.